News is your local election headquarters and tonight we continue to bring you the candidates who look to make their mark on a better West Virginia. 7 News reporter Jake McGlumphy joins us live in the studio to take a look at the two candidates who are running for the second district in the state Senate. Jake. Bailey Michelle, the current West Virginia Senator in the 2nd District, is Dr. Mike Maroney, who will look to be re-elected this year while being opposed by Chris Rose. Senator Maroney has served as the State Senator in the 2nd District for two terms now, while his opponent Chris Rose is making his first run for public office. Senator Maroney says one of his main focuses will be to continue his fight towards normalizing various vaccines throughout the state. His opponent Chris Rose says one of his main fights will be to create more job opportunities for coal miners, steel workers, and other unionized employees. Both candidates share a few other things that they will be focusing on heavily if they are elected. As far as the uh, Senate as a whole is concerned, pro-business, okay? Let's keep doing anything we can to promote businesses to come to West Virginia without giving the state away. Let's keep lowering these taxes. We we'll get rid of Social Security tax, income tax. Let's get rid of as many taxes as we can that are regressive and it actually block growth as opposed to stimulate growth. West Virginia is a pro-gun state, it's a pro-energy state, they're a pro-life state, okay? They're now a pro-business state. So anything we can do to promote any of those philosophies or any of those uh, pieces of legislation, that's what I'm there for. One of the first things I'd love to look at is getting rid of the state income tax. When you look at states like Texas, Florida, Tennessee, and the economic growth that they have, where they're able to create jobs for their sons and daughters, where they get to stay in their state, one of the common themes is they don't have a state income tax. And if we put those type of policies in place, then we'll get companies fighting to come here. It'll help our small business owners we currently have, but also entice other companies to come here and set up shop. That way, West Virginia can be the best place in the country to live, work, and raise a family. I care about our communities, I care about our state, and I just want us to have a better future. And I just want us to have a true voice in Charleston that's willing to do the job. The West Virginia primary election is set for May 14th, with early voting beginning on May 1st and ending on the 11th. As your local election headquarters, be sure to stay tuned to 7 News On Air and WTRF.com online for all of the latest on the candidates in this year's primary election. Reporting live in the 7 News studio, I'm Jake McGlumphy, working for you. Thanks, Jake. If you smoke menthol